Hi there. This is part two of Weaponized Insights. I was so excited when I saw that a weaponized insight stops operating as an insight. That was thrilling to me. It's like, ah, I don't have to fight with myself about whether to listen anymore. Because if it's being used as a weapon, boom, I'm not listening. I am not going to beat myself up. I am not going to walk in to your whip if you're doing it to me. But then I started to wonder. I thought so many times I get caught up in these debates with myself about what to do. And it often has to do with commonsensical things, subtle things like take a walk. I don't want to take a walk. Uh, have vegetables instead of a Snickers for dinner. I'll have what I want to have for dinner. Ah! And what occurred to me is that it's possible to put down the weapon and keep the insight. Now I hesitate here because I think the first and most important thing to do is put down the weapon. Do not preserve the weapon in order to preserve the insight. That never works because we're in the territory of what's wrong with you and insight doesn't operate in the territory of what's wrong with you. But it becomes possible as you see this to put down the weapon to leave the territory of what's wrong with you, to decline to have the conversation of what's wrong with you, and to keep the insight, to use the common sense. So it becomes possible if common sense or insight is whispering, you know, you've been achy, it could be all that sugar, maybe you'd like to have a salad for dinner. And the weaponization begins, the self-criticism begins, and it's like, no, no, wait a minute. This isn't whether or not, and when I say you, it's me talking to me or you talking to yourself. All I'm saying is you've been achy, it could be the sugar, it might be nice to have a salad. You can go to heaven even if you have the sugar. And it might be nice to have a salad. We recover what I've talked about in other videos as the freedom to choose when we let go of the pressure to choose right. So there's a way I think in which certainly I have been confused over the years because right on the heels of insight, right on the heels of the whisper of wisdom comes an ego, mine, that is tuned to right and wrong, hypersensitive to whether or not I'm okay and deserving. Always looking for what's wrong with me. And it becomes possible to decline to have that conversation while entertaining the value of the insight. Play with that. Let me know what you see, what you think. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Talk to you next week.